So in this chart here, the basic sheet function names are in this column here. And I'm not going to go over everything in these other columns. But if you wanted to pause the video now, you could uh, go through that yourself. So I'm going to go ahead and show you some specific examples. So I'm going to go ahead and start with new sheet. I'm going to go ahead and create a new sheet. So I'm going to type in the function new sheet. So if you don't set a sheet name, the function will create a new sheet with the next available number. So if your worksheet has sheets named sheet 1, sheet 2, sheet 3, and sheet 4, then the function will assign the new sheet with the name sheet 5. And if you do pass it an argument, it will name that new sheet the argument that you passed in. So that was new sheet. So next, I'm going to go over rename sheet. So the syntax for that is old sheet name, comma, new sheet name. And I want to rename that sheet three as test two. you can see that it re got renamed there. So that is rename sheet. So next I'm going to go over the active sheet function. So uh, first I'm going to go over what happens when you don't set the active sheet. So let me go ahead and run the function active sheet. So that outputs the active sheet to the screen and the active sheet right now is sheet functions. And then if I do pass in an argument such as test, this changes the active sheet to the test sheet. So that's active sheet. So next I'm going to go over display sheet. So display sheet. So if you use the display sheet function with no arguments, it's just going to return the sheet currently displayed, which is sheet functions. And then if you do pass in an argument such as test2, it will change the currently displayed sheet. But keep in mind that the active sheet right now is still test, and I can show you that active sheet is test. So the display sheet and the active sheet can be different. That's display sheet. So for the next function I'm going to go over all sheets. So all sheets. This is pretty self-explanatory. It just displays the name of all sheets in the workbook. So I'm going to go ahead and change the display sheet to the current active sheet, which is test. I'm going to go ahead and put some information in. So that just added the value data nitro yay to cell A1. And right now I want to go over the auto fit function. So there's really three ways that you can use the auto fit function. So if you don't use an argument, then it resizes the active sheet. With a sheet argument, it resizes the specified sheet that you passed in. And with the range argument, it only resizes cells specific to that range. So let me go over each of those. So if I don't pass in anything and I just do auto fit, that just resized everything on the active sheet. 
And then let me go ahead and change the active sheet. two and then if I go ahead and do the same thing here I added that to test two now I'm going to change the active sheet back to just test okay so right now the active sheet and the display sheet is test so if I want to use the auto fit function on test two, so what I'm gonna to have to do is pass in test two as the argument. So auto fit test two. And that resize the sheet. So I'm gonna go and go back to test here. I'm gonna add in some more data. Add this to columns B1, or cells B1, cells C1, and then cells F1. So I'm going to use auto fit again, and the sheet is test. And this time I'm going to pass in a range. I only want to auto fit the columns A, B, and C, and not F. So I'm just going to use the range A1 through C1. You can see that it resized the those columns to fit the text there for A, B, and C, and it left F alone. Okay, so that's auto fit. So next, I'm going to use the clear sheet function. So if I do not pass in an argument, then it's just going to clear the active sheet. If I do pass in an argument, test two, and that cleared the sheet. And then finally, I want to go ahead and remove a sheet. So use the function remove sheet, and I'm going to go ahead and remove test. Should get a pop up. Go ahead and delete it. And that deleted test.